replace the supports by the loads they create and solve for these reactions. Essentially what we're, gonna, we're being asked to do is solve for the supports. This is your classic equilibrium problem, the first step of which is to draw a free body diagram. A is a roller, so there's one force in the vertical direction. B is a pin, that'll give you a force in the y direction and a force in the x direction. Don't forget your three applied loads. So we have to have the magnitudes and the direction for the various forces. We also need to make sure we have all of the distances. So this is 2 meters, 4 meters, and 2 meters. That's your complete free body diagram. We in general here have six forces. The three applied loads that were given and our three reaction forces that, we were, that replaced the supports. That's what we want to solve. Now if we list these six forces, the first one is minus 4 fifths, 2.5 in the I direction. Putting them in their Cartesian form is an excellent way to make sure you know what you have and where it acts. The second one is 1.5 sine 30 I minus 1.5 cosine 30 J. If you need to, make a bigger picture. This is 30. That means that the J component is the cosine part. You also have this minus 3 kilonewton load in the J direction applied at B. I have BX in the I direction, BY in the J direction, and AY in the J direction as well. Now, the sum of the forces in X just says add up the I's. So I have minus 4 fifths 2.5 plus 1.5 sine 30 plus BX equals 0. Well, from there I can already solve. BX is equal to 1.25 kilonewtons. So I'm a third of the way there. That's one of the things I wanted to know. The second step is to add up the J's. Some of the forces in Y is minus 3 fifths times 2.5, minus 1.5 cosine 30, minus 3, plus BY plus AY equals 0. I have two unknowns there. I can't yet solve for my two unknowns until I have two equations. The second equation that I need comes from the sum of the moments. And I have to pick a specific point there to figure out what moment I'm going to take it about. I'm going to pick point B because it eliminates so many forces. The 3 kilonewton load, BX, BY, and the I components of the, these two applied loads pass through B and are not going to create a tendency to turn B. There's no moment due to any of those components. So my sum of the moments at B has AY in it. AY turns point B clockwise, acts at a distance of 8 meters. The J components 3 fifths of 2.5 and 1.5 cosine 30 will both turn B. They in general, well, no, in specific, will both turn them counterclockwise. So they need to have a different sign than the AY. So we're going to make those negative and the other one positive. 3 fifths 2.5 acts at a distance of 6 meters. The 1.5 cosine 30 acts at a distance of 2 meters. And that has to equal 0. Now I have two equations and two unknowns and I can solve for them. If you solve for one and substitute into the other, you have AY is 1.45 kilonewtons and BY is 4.35 kilonewtons. Sum that up with what we already had. BX is 1.25 kilonewtons and you have solved for all of the reactions at your supports.